everybody, this is Island Hopper TV Travel Highlights, and today we're going to talk about Peru. Is it safe? So, what do you need to know when visiting Peru? Some of the dangers that I've experienced, and overall safety, what to expect when you come here. So, one of the main reasons why we're making this video is because there was some civil unrest about a year ago and it turned people off from wanting to travel here or feeling comfortable here and then Machu Picchu was closed for a little bit and that's what I'm here to tell you Machu Picchu it's open 100% so if you're thinking about coming here it is 100% open in fact Peru in general is 100% open right now I'm actually walking in Lima Peru this is the Kennedy Park in Miraflores, very nice area. I've walked around here uh, the last few days. I've stayed at countless hotels to reviewing them. For those of you who want to see those reviews, you can check Island Hopper TV Hotels, our other channel where we just review hotels. But yeah, you can see, very nice, peaceful place. Uh, right over that way is the coastline, Costa Verde. And over there, I was staying at the AC Hotel. Right next to that, they have a JW Marriott. A bit expensive over there, but they have the nice small Lark Mer. I eat at those restaurants because they got sunset views like <laughs> you wouldn't believe. But yeah, since I've been here in Peru, I've been to Cusco, Machu Picchu, Lima, Sacred Valley, there's so many places to see in Peru though. Couldn't possibly do it all. So uh, I'm giving you an idea of what to expect when you're walking around, right? Like that's the main thing you want to know is when you're walking around, is there going to be any perceived threats? Is there people stalking, you know, petty crime? So here's my best advice for coming here. Number one, when you arrive at the airport, try to get a safe taxi it says that right there on the actual airport walls it's a girl taxi and so a safe taxi is one that's properly registered properly marked now that's easily found with those people who are dressed professionally inside of the actual airport once you leave the airport there could be hawkers out there trying to get you to go in their taxi but they not, might not be the official ones. So I recommend getting one of the taxis from the service inside the airport. Once you do that, you're definitely in a safe taxi. Now, the area in between the airport and Miraflores, there are some hairy areas in between. What I mean by that is there are some unsafe places around Lima, but for the most part, you'll be okay. You just uh, take one of those taxis and you're good to go and they drive right along the coastline for the most part That's the main route now once you're in the actual city in Lima This is different than Cusco by the way it's Lima and Cusco you could almost say are like two different countries This is the way they feel you know it's like it is Peru, but it feels like it's a different world um, Take uber all around Lima so have the Uber app ready to go and you'll be good to go. But uh, when you get to Cusco, you're just basically hawking uh, taxis. I didn't really see anything too dangerous in Cusco either. Um, although there are some areas outside the tourist zones that you might not want to go at night or in general. But once you're doing things outside of the cities, I found Peru to be really safe. Um, obviously, anything is possible, but for the most part, when you're in the Sacred Valley or Aguas Calientes or any of those places, it's really safe. So don't feel like you can't explore around Peru safely because you can. And there's so many places, you know, there's Huachina, which is the desert. Where they have the largest dunes. So now let's talk about some of the actual dangerous things that I've seen here. Some things that caught my attention that I think you should be aware of. So the big thing 
that made me feel the most scared when I was here was actually driving in a car in the Andes around mountains that have landslides. My dad was with me and uh, he was even nervous about it because, you know, the guys before, the driver before we left was asking people if there was uh, dirt on the road from a landslide. And, uh, you know, if you've ever seen a video or anything of a landslide where rocks just start tumbling down the hill onto uh, cars or onto roads, then you would understand why it's a bit of a concern. So either way, uh, that was something that caught my attention. But here we are in front of the Crown Plaza I just wanted to show you. And uh, we'll keep talking about things. All right, so now let's talk about just driving around in general around the streets. I found it to be safe to walk around. Uh, they have a modern crosswalk system, modern streets. Some areas of Peru though, for example in the Andes, road conditions are not as fair. For example, this here in Lima, you can see they've got a sidewalk that will take you right down to uh, the Malacone, which is in Miraflores. Also got a cobblestone road here. You got some outdoor sport activities going on here with the tennis. You can see this is an old road, but most of the roads are very new, well maintained. So good job Lima, good job Peru. But once you get into the Andes, potholes are common. Although they are building a new airport and that's going to bring a new highway to Cusco. The new airport is about an hour outside of Cusco. Maybe 45 minutes. It's a little bit closer to Machu Picchu actually, so that'll be a good thing. Now let's talk about food safety. So what do you need to know about some of the food? Well obviously ceviche is very safe here. I have eaten ceviche several times, which is a raw fish. When I was in Cusco, they had a trout ceviche. It's like a pink meat. When I was here in Lima, I had some shrimp and mixta, which is a mixed ceviche. And I never got any sort of food poisoning or anything like that. Also, when it comes to health, uh, the whole time I was here, I never got sick. I never got a cold or any sort of illness like that. So I point that out because when you travel to places, you have to take into consideration food safety. For those of you who have been to places like India or Thailand, you know that there's such thing as like Delhi Belly or Bali Belly in Indonesia. Um, I haven't had any issues with that here. But most of the food and the restaurants and the supermarkets very modern, clean, all that. All right, and on that note, that's going to conclude this episode from Lima, Peru, where we talked about safety here. And you can see lots of action going on today. Every day in Peru is filled with action. If you have any questions, drop a comment below. We'll see you on the next one. Watch some more of these other Peru videos.